Welcome everybody to another episode of Electric Supercar Channel. This week we are going to get the front motor fully mounted. Let's get to it. Before we get into our episode, I'd like to thank our sponsor, DroneQuote. If you're a property owner and you're wondering, hey, what would it take to get a new roof? Or how about solar? DroneQuote is a company for you. Using state-of-the-art technology, they will use a drone to gather the information they need. They can then work with other companies to provide quotations. They work in your best interest. Even after the job is done, they will come back and verify with their drones that everything was installed correctly. They've made this very easy. Everything is online. Just go to their website, type in your property information, and their licensed drone pilots will assess your property from every angle. Once they have your data, they can connect you with up to three contractors. From that point, you can compare prices, review services. Some of the things I like about DroneQuote is they're really there looking after your best interest. They're just providing you with the data and then they're on your team with the contractors to help you find and negotiate the best prices. And it's all hassle-free, it's all done online. So if you're interested, go visit their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. So a few episodes ago, we got part of the front motor mounted. I'll call it the passenger side. Now it's time to mount the other side. For the front motor, we have already made the mount for the other side. Now we need to make the mount for this side. This part is what goes on here. And in a traditional Tesla car, it mounts to the chassis from this point here. So I put the motor in place, now I'm putting the subframe back in place, and the reason to do that is I need to make sure where the steering column is and that this motor mount will not interfere with that. This is why I wanted to put things in place. So on the front subframe here, we've got the electric steering rack, and it looks like it's gonna be hitting right here into, this is kind of the motor mount that Tesla had. So I might just have to design my own. I originally was thinking kind of the same place on the other side. So on this side, we've got it kind of on that frame rail. And I was thinking over there, but we have this steering column that's in the way and the mounting points are kind of right down here. So I'm reevaluating. We've got some really good mounting points right here on the subframe. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of build off of that. This is almost my idea to start. I kind of start measuring drawing. Um, so this one will go on the front subframe and this one will go on the motor and I'm gonna have a bushing that I can weld to and that will allow things to be set in place. So I've turned to my friends at Send Cut Send. Remember, click on the link. It helps make sure that we can continue to use these great sponsors. And again, it's super easy to use. You get really great products that have really good quality and they're very inexpensive. All right, we are here under the front subframe right next to the motor. So got everything designed in CAD, got some parts from Send Cut Send. Now we're gonna see if they fit. One of these things that like you measure it two or three times, you're sure, done it in CAD, and then still always this moment where you think, mm, let's check it out. So I got the whole positions right. I've got this rounded and it's just hitting on this, it's hitting on the very sides of the subframe. So uh, we'll get out the angle grinder or something and fix that. All right, now with those uh, edges shaved off, we'll see if it fits. One piece down, let's try the next pieces. All right, it is super challenging to show you what's going on, but we'll try. All right, so this is the plate you could see me put in and then everything else was kind of on top, so really couldn't see much. I'll try and show you. So up here, um, there's a plate on the back. So I bolted that in, so that works well. Um, and it's got a good gap here, to this plate, so that works. Um, this has got, we've got two pieces here that'll get welded here as well as back. And then got my bushing, and then these pieces will be welded to the bushing. And then they'll get bolted in right there. Now we're off by, I don't know, maybe quarter inch or so. 
So I don't know if that's just because the motor's sagging a little bit, so I'll see if I can ratchet it up, or otherwise it means that our measurements were just a tiny bit off and we'll have to kind of shave just a little bit. Here's this plate again, um, it's mounted. You can see where I had to cut things off just a little bit. The back plate is mounted, and again, those, the spacing there is good. Here's where the bushing is. And I've got these pieces kind of right where I want them. And it got the hole on top is aligned. However, this hole is not quite aligned. It needs to go back just a little bit. So that means this whole thing needs to pivot back. I've actually decided I need to remake those parts. Let me show you why. So I've kind of wedged things in place just to kind of show you the position. And although I could make things, cut things, weld things, it would be great and mount fine. There's actually a bolt hole that is right behind that bushing. See on that side, there's another one here right behind that bushing. And so I intentionally kind of had it a little bit towards, I'll call it towards the camera, to allow for that bolt to be put in and taken out. So I think I just need to redo those pieces right there. I've taken off the other piece that needs to get remade. So I'll put in some designs to send cut send, but in the meantime, I'll go ahead and weld this one up. Yeah, in all seriousness, if I had the funds, if I was not unemployed, that'd be a great use of money to get a nice welding table. Now it's gonna work a lot better. If I've got the opportunity, I might as well give myself the best chance of a good weld. So rather than kind of having an L, might as well kind of have it in a V. Out of welding wire. Figure I'd show you my welds before I uh, grind them up. I think I'm still just in a little bit of a hurry. I need to slow down my welds a little bit. All right, so I just added these little gussets here. I went ahead and test fit this back in the car. Good thing it still is perfect, nothing warped. I need to make some parts and try and beat Send Cut Send with the other parts that I designed and sent out. These will be the small standoffs between the two plates. All right, so I made these three little standoffs, but essentially they're gonna go here. So those will go there, it'll get welded onto that plate, essentially so. So then we'll have some space between those, it'll be welded on, it'll be pretty rigid, and this bushing will get welded on right there. This is the bracket that will mount to the motor. So this bracket here, I haven't welded these ones on just yet, but those will be welded on. These will be all welded together and this will be fastened to the motor and it will get put in here. So the bushing essentially get in there with this pin that bolt through it. That'll be what mounts the front motor. So these are the first parts I had. And if the bolts went into the motor, it kind of was about right here where we needed this to be positioned forward just a little bit so it could go down the right position. So now we've got this part that does just that. All right, to this point, I think all I've done is take things apart and amass a whole bunch of different parts, trying to put some things together, but really nothing has yet really entered the car until now. We're going to mount the motor and this will be something that now is in. I think it's a pretty big occasion because until now everything's just in disarray. Um, we're planning, we're doing things, but now we're actually starting to put things back together. So definitely has a different feel to it. I know it'll be a little hard to see, but we've got these plates. These are new plates and they fit just perfectly with this as designed. So we've got room to the back for that bolt and everything's looking really good. What's that? 
Don't do it. I heard you all the way through the screen. That is too dang small. Let's go see if we got something better. So you'll have to tell me if you've got one of these, but I've got my steel junk pile. So I'm not a hoarder, meaning I'm not sentimental. I could go ahead and throw away my yearbooks. One thing I have a tough time throwing away though, some good scrap metal. So that one might be good, or even this. So tell me I'm not the only one that keeps around junk metal. I'd like to hear uh, things that you hoard. So what do you think? Throw it away? Nah, it's still got potential. I've got a left door piece, so I'm just gonna practice a weld real quick, make sure my settings are good. All right, to show you the welds here real quick. Super hard to get pretty when you have to start and stop because they're on the round. I need one of those turntables. So now it's time to weld on the other half. This is gonna be even more challenging because it'll be even more obstructed. This is fitting just perfectly. It's like we designed it that way. While this is here, I need to tack weld it in and then bring it back to my special welding table and weld it more fully. See how these look all messed up? I did this last time. It melts the rubber when I weld. So I actually saved this knowing that I was probably gonna do it again with the same bushings. So I'm gonna take out the good ones, put in these ones to do the welding and then put the good ones back. So this should be good to weld. The reason to do this is we actually have the bolt going through so everything kind of spaced just correctly. And um, so we want that to be in there. And if it is, then these kind of burn. So that's why we swapped them. Once we get it welded, we'll swap them back.
All right, just gave it a quick cleanup. Cleaned it up just a little bit. So now it's ready to go in. And for the first time, we'll have the front motor installed. There it is, all assembled. Um, this is welded here. Got the bolt through. All those points are cinched and tight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off these ratchet straps and the motor will be mounted for the first time. Last one. Well, it is all mounted. Nothing holding it except for the mounts that I made. Everything looks really good. So up front we've got, call it like three fingers, clearance. And then the back, I'm gonna say similar. I mean, we've got some hoses and things that are closer, but yeah, looking good. There it is all mounted from underneath. Looks pretty good. Again, everything's kind of anchored to the subframe both up from these points as well as back on those points. Then we've got this one welded to accept the bushing. Then the bushing is welded to this one and using the same three mounting points uh, that Tesla used. This is not the last time that this motor will come out. Um, I do need to take it out again to get these motor mounts um, painted or coated. All right, here we are, roughly 2,900 pounds. 1579, nice. 1727, that's really good. We also have a front to back weight distribution of 55% to 45% which is expected because we don't have anything in the back yet, like motors or batteries. Also, as far as like the cross, the diagonals. So from, what is this? Left front to right rear is kind of the worst. I mean, that's where it's got the lightest. So this is helpful when I'm making some decisions on where to put things, this will help inform those decisions to try and balance the car. And for everyone outside the United States right now, it's at 783 kilograms. Back by popular demand, we've got Miss Researcher. She's gonna be helping me with another product review video. So please tune in, that'll be a good one. Well, that is a huge milestone. We've got one motor down, one more to go. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time. Do, 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 do. Go live somewhere else. As well as <sighs> airplanes. All right, can we do this? Why are you not focusing? What else do I want to say?